not this. I want to go to this because I never actually like completely watched um, the trailers for Echoes of Wisdom like properly. Like the first time I ever watched a trailer, it was with no sound. So I was just kind of like looking up while I was working. Um, and then I think there are like three other trailers on the Nintendo page on YouTube. So we'll look at that too. Um, and, um, yeah. Cause like so far right now, I'm not excited for the game from like the clips that I've seen of it. So maybe if like I actually watch the trailer, we'll, we'll see what happens. I'll give you guys like my opinion on it. Cause I get a lot of people who ask me like, oh, are you excited? Cause you know, everyone knows that I love Zelda. Absolutely love it. So we're going to watch the trailers over again. If you guys have, you know, seen it already, you're going to see it again. Um, but yeah, that's what I want to start the stream with today. And, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, Viper, hi friend, welcome in. Happy Thursday. And Dale, hello, I saw you come in. How are you doing, friend? Welcome, welcome. Uh, doing great, just chilling on my day off. Uh, happy to be hanging out here. Yes, let's freaking go. So you didn't have to work today? Oh my god, that's awesome. I mean, I, I worked today. It was an easy day, though. Yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow's gonna be busy though. I have to go into the office tomorrow. So yeah, there's that. Primal Grudon though. I don't think I've ever seen Primal. I don't know what it looks like. Okay, so Primal, I don't have the, uh, I think you need like Primal Candies or whatever they're called for that, right? I don't have those. Uh, knowing my shiny luck, I'd be the only one not to get the shiny. That's, that was me, okay? That was me for so many raids. <laughs> like, Ramo has participated in most of the raids that I've pinged, and he's gotten, like, almost every shiny. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> um, did you know some people don't have shiny Grudons in Pokemon Go? Embarrassing, right? <laughs> Okay, guys, if you didn't catch on, that's Andrew. He was also in the raid and he got the shiny too. I think that's your first, like, shiny raid, isn't it? <laughs> um, yeah, I know. It's super embarrassing that other people don't have the shiny Groot on. What? <laughs> Knowing my luck, I'd have three shinies in, like, ten minutes. Yeah, seriously? Like, you want to talk about shiny luck? Freaking Monster over here has the best shiny luck. Like... He just, like, he vomits shinies. Like, <laughs> if you want shinies, we should go dissect monster. <laughs> uh, the last shiny I got was a Starly in grief case. Oh, no! That was the last shiny you got? I, I was actually just talking about the briefcase simulator today. I still haven't reached grief case um, status yet. I put it on pause before I could reach that status. But uh, I definitely do need to get back into that. I have so many things that are on hold and like it's just going to be put on hold for even longer because um, Echoes of Wisdom is coming out and I do plan on streaming that. And I'm also going to have a really like busy fall. And I'm still trying to get all the Koroks. That's really what like I'm focused on right now is finding all the Koroks. Okay. Ah, uh, oh, Andrew's here. Hello, friend. Welcome in. We are just starting the uh, the... Echoes of Wisdom trailers. So I'm gonna, okay, scroll that back a bit more. Report spoilers. <laughs> that is like perfect timing because yeah, if you guys didn't, don't wanna watch the trailers, there might be spoilers, I don't know. You haven't seen this either. Okay, cool, cool. Um, yeah, so on the main page for Nintendo America, there are four trailers, so we're gonna watch all of them. Okay, are we ready? Maybe I'll turn it up a little bit. If it's too loud, let me know. Yeah. Oh, that reveal. <laughs>
Okay, and that's supposed to be like Breath of the Wild Hyrule, right? That's what a lot of people like kind of noticed about this scene. Hello everyone. I'm A.G. Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. What you just saw was the latest installment, The Legend of Zelda, Echoes of Wisdom. This time around, Link has vanished. Now, it's up to Princess Zelda to step into the protagonist role. You might be thinking, will Zelda fight with a sword then? Here, we wanted to create a new gameplay style that breaks conventions seen in past Legend of Zelda games with a top-down perspective. To explain more, please take a look at this video. Okay, so yeah, like, when I pictured Zelda having her first Zelda game, like, as the protagonist, I did imagine her being the one with the sword. But obviously, like, I know that they went in a different direction for this. Um, and I'm kind of annoyed by that, but it's fine. <laughs> I guess, for now, it's fine. Uh, it's good to see you too, Paolo. I hope you've had a great day today. Thanks for joining that raid earlier, by the way. Link is short king in this game. <laughs> He's always a short king. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Zelda's taller than him by like a little bit, isn't she? Not like a lot. Maybe they're like the same height. They might be the same height. Uh, it stopped pretty conveniently right when Zelda fell. Oh yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> conveniently. <laughs> um. They should make a game called The Legend of Link and you play a Zelda. S yeah, okay, I, you're not the first one to make that joke either. Um, that was definitely a missed opportunity. <laughs> but he is short, short king. Oh, okay, yeah, he's just super short. <laughs> uh, probably looking too deep into it. Uh, monster's here to burst the bubble. <laughs> All right, let's continue this. Stolen away. Across the vast lands of Hyrule, strange rifts have appeared and have taken many people, including Link. Poor Link. Now alone, Zelda meets the fairy Tri, receives a mysterious staff called the Tri Rod, and sets off on a journey across Hyrule to save her kingdom. By waving the Tri Rod at a table she found, Zelda learned how to create an imitation of it called an Echo. Once you learn an echo of something, you can recreate it whenever you'd like. Even if there's a wall blocking your path, you can create echoes of tables to get a leg up. See, like, this would be like an item that Link would find just like in a dungeon or something to help him get through it. But this is like, this is Zelda's like main item instead of the Master Sword. And yeah, I, I prefer the sword. I don't I don't like the magic class. I like I like the sword class. It's yeah, it's gonna be more of a puzzle game. It's gonna be very, very puzzle heavy. Uh like Zelda, if you want uh, a break from Link, set up boundaries. Don't need don't need to send him to the Shadow Realm just to get some peace and quiet. <laughs> yes, this is all Zelda's fault. <laughs> just like that. You can create wooden boxes. Old you can beds, literally copy anything. And unusual things like water blocks. How you use them separately or together is entirely up to you. Oh, guys, guys. Like, challenge run opportunity. Just like bed only run or something. <laughs> Imagine. Just, just copying beds and that's how you complete the game. <laughs> Learn and create echoes of things you find while exploring Hyrule. You might be Hashtag surprised give Zelda at what you discover. Yes, give Zelda a sword. Even battles will look different. You could pick up and throw a rock echo, for example. That's not all, though. You can also create echoes of monsters. After doing so, they'll fight by your side. Monsters have different abilities, so choose the one you want to create based on the situation. Wisdom is key, See, after all. That's that's another thing that kind of bothers me about this, because, like, 
I like to be the one to do the fighting. Like, I like to be Link. I like to, like, you know, do the combos, dodge, and then, like, attack type thing. With this, like, you literally just, you copy enemies, and then you just, like, you send them to battle for you, and you just sit there and wait for the battle to be over. That's, that's what I don't want. <laughs> Colleen, hello cutie, welcome in. Sending you the Korok luck. Yes, thank you so much. Definitely need it. Um, hope you're doing well today, friend. Thank you so much for coming in here. Bet only run, right? <laughs> Challenge run opportunity. <laughs> More like give Chelsea sword. Yeah, give me the sword. <laughs> it's okay, Zelda. Set aside yourself. I will, uh, I'll take over from here. I have my copy of the sword. Everything's good. <laughs> There needs to be an option where you drop the staff and let Zelda throw hands. Oh my god, imagine. <laughs> In a Hyrule without Link, the fate of the kingdom is now in Zelda's hands. I love that they're bringing back like a lot of like the How older elements though. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of the Echo ability, which channels Princess Zelda's wisdom. Thank you for Zelda's the lurk, Colleen. Wisdom. Thank you, thank you, friend. There are a lot of Echoes in this game. To be honest, I haven't counted them all yet. You thought I was playing the game already? Oh my god, I wish. Will change depending on the Echoes used. In short, we've created a game where each player's experience will be different. Oh, it's the like Legend the mummy Zelda, thing. Echoes of Wisdom launches September 26th. A Nintendo Switch Lite system inspired by the Legend of Zelda series will also be available at launch. Have you guys pre ordered we hope you're that? looking forward to playing as Zelda in this new adventure. I got mine pre ordered. Um, okay, and then. Oh, right, okay, they're down here. Okay, so that was the one that was three months ago. That was from the Nintendo Direct. So now there's this one from one month ago. Welcome to Hyrule, a vast land where Princess Zelda will journey through her grand adventure. You want me to keep it sealed? Hyrule is a land of plentiful abundance. From the central plateau, where Hyrule Castle stands enfolded by its castle town, to the outermost reaches, you'll encounter new and interesting people in each of its diverse regions. The Gerudo Desert consists of scorching dunes as far as the eye can see and is prone to frequent sandstorms. That's no problem for the women of the Gerudo tribe, though. There are many ruins full of mysteries here. And an oasis, a great place to relax. What? <laughs> Jabul Waters is home to some of Hyrule's most... Let, let me just, like... <laughs> Make my bed up here and just take a nap here. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, Ricky, hello, friend. Welcome in. How are you doing? And congrats on finding that Korok. Uh, will that be your second light? I, I actually don't have a, a light at all. Stella, she has another sock. Where is she finding these socks? She must have a stash somewhere. Okay, one second. I'll be right back. I literally had to like lock my socks away behind closed doors. Secret stash of stinky socks. They're not stinky. They're clean, okay? <laughs> um, not her stash. I even main summoners and pet classes. Oh, so you, you like this then? You're excited for this kind of class for Zelda then, right? <sighs> okay, I'm out of breath because I just like ran down the stairs and then ran back up. <laughs> God damn um not doing too bad how are you i'm doing good i am doing good are you excited for this game ricky because you're working through the zelda games now right <laughs> they are clean ramo they are i promise um but yeah red this will be my first uh switch light because i i prefer to have my switches docked i don't really like them like by hand clean as mine <laughs> Mud is clean. Hello. Okay. Scenic waterways. It's also where you can find the Sea Zora and the River Zora, who each reside in their respective villages. 
though they don't always get along. What could they oh. be fighting about? Interesting. Daunting cliffs and lava flows dominate the Elden Volcano region. Kakariko Village is nestled at the mountain's base. But you'll have to brave... Tr That's the first time I've ever heard Kakariko pronounced like in an ad or like a trailer or something. I always called it Kakariko. So it's Kakariko. Oh my god, I've been mispronouncing it this whole time. Okay. Treacherous trails to reach the home of the Gorons. Those rocks may look delicious. Alas, they are not for Hylians. The Farren wetlands are a lush labyrinth of vegetation. As you wander the jungle, you might come across a Deku scrub. Oh, the Deku Rumor has it survive. these peculiar creatures have a voracious sweet tooth. During your travels, you're likely to encounter people dealing with problems great and small. Up a wall. Keep track of Thanks. quests by browsing your adventure log whenever you'd like. Helping people with their troubles is a big part of your journey. I mean, that's and classic Zelda, right? Are often that's expected. For their good deeds. Can we finally pet the dogs? Objects known as waypoints are scattered throughout the land. Once you've discovered one, you can return to it quickly by selecting it on your map. Even with the benefit of fast travel, getting around Hyrule can prove challenging. At times like these, why walk when you can ride? Where's her gold horse? Gallop right over weaker enemies to send them flying. And I hop thought she over had her own gold horse. Once you learn to make a carrot echo, you'll be able to call upon your trusty steed from anywhere in the overworld. Well, spoiler. Well, now I know how to do that. <laughs> As you explore, you may come across smoothie shops manned by business scrubs. Here you can blend the ingredients you've collected into delicious drinks. Smoothies have different effects based on the ingredients you choose. That's actually really They're cute. They're sure to come in handy like during a your travels. smoothie bar. You can also equip outfits and accessories to enhance your abilities. Classic. And to look fashionable, obviously. We can change your outfit? Okay. Whether you're trekking over rugged plateaus, see, bed only run. Winding caves, it's right there. <laughs> or other complex locales, creating echoes is key to success. But sometimes they may not be enough. A huge boulder like this cannot be learned as an echo, and your other echoes won't move it either. Oh. For well. obstacles like these, Try has got you covered with the power of bind. Use it to make even a massive boulder follow Zelda's movement. Ooh. Bind can help you unearth That's fun. buried treasure. Or even reposition troublesome enemies. You can also use bind on your echoes. So get creative and find ways to forge ahead. Alternatively, if you want to follow a moving object yourself, you can use reverse bind. Well, now to I know how to do that too. Goes. Take advantage of a creature's ability to fly. Sorry for all the spoilers, guys. <laughs> or to move around quickly. Kevo, hello, swapping friend. Swapping between bind and reverse bond is a great way to find clever paths forward. The Let horse is not big enough. Is all the breaking its back? You're bound to come up with all sorts of. Oh my god, it's actually crawling. Use bind in combination with your echoes to overcome. I feel like obstacles. that totally like creeped out a lot of people. Understanding how these two abilities work together will be essential to your progress. Mysterious rifts are overtaking Hyrule. What else will Zelda have to contend with in her grand adventure to save her kingdom? There's only one way to find out. Douglas, I agree. They are showing a lot. Surprised they haven't shown how to defeat the final boss. Literally, like, that's all they're missing from this trailer, honestly. <gasps> uh, Nacho on a 35 stream streak. Thank you so much, friend. I appreciate you. Thank you for being here. Um... 
The Legend of Zelda Horse Adventures sold. <laughs> um, okay, well, we're basically at the end of this, so. The Legend of Zelda oh, okay. Echoes of Wisdom. Yeah, that's the end of, of the that. Okay. Uh, this one's from two weeks ago. On the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> okay, so I saw the beginning of this one too, and I got confused from the Nintendo Direct trailer. Because, yeah, he, he, he pushes Zelda out of the way, and then he goes down. But in the first trailer, Link shoots her out of the crystal and saves her. So she gets to save him. Which one is it? The land of Hyrule has been torn apart by mysterious rifts. Pokey, hello, in friend. Search of Welcome Link in. And the king of Hyrule, both of whom were stolen away. Princess Zelda must borrow the power of an ethereal creature called Tri. Together, they enter the tears that scar the land in order to save her kingdom. On her journey, Zelda will explore what lies within the rifts. Are they going to show us inside the rifts now? Are they going to show all that spoiler? This is mm. the still world. Here, trees, fragments of land, people, and other items that were swallowed up by the rifts float in the void. It's said they will eventually vanish completely. <gasps> Exploring the farthest reaches of this world is no easy feat. To do so, Zelda will have mm. to traverse eerie, floating terrain. Because the path is broken okay, up, so a bit of the echoes cool. you've learned can come in handy. Forge your own way forward by creating echoes to use as platforms to bridge the gaps. More beds. Beds are great. <laughs> Massive dungeons can also be found deep within the still world. It feels like I've already played it. <laughs> Zelda will use her wisdom and echoes to take on enemies and puzzles that stand in her way. I'm really hoping that they add more to it. Uh, that, like, they're not actually showing everything. And that, like, when we actually do end up playing it, we'll be, like, surprised by, like, twists and stuff. Um, but, yeah, they, they really are showing a lot in these trailers. Um, and, like, there are some like aspects of this game that like like the puzzles of it like i love puzzles in zelda it's just it's gonna be very puzzle heavy and like it, it i am excited for that but at the same time like i just feel like i'm also gonna be bored with like the fighting part because all you have to do is send off some some enemies to do the fighting for you um bed only run make it happen okay <laughs> first playthrough beds only i wonder if there's Oh, guys, do you think Zelda is going to be asleep at the beginning of this game? I mean, unless the trailers already showed, like, how it, the game actually starts. But, like, wouldn't that, wouldn't that be funny if, like, Zelda was actually, like, asleep? Actually, yeah. She, like, Link, it could be Link's turn to wake her up. And then everything goes to shit. <laughs> hmm, that'd be really funny. Or maybe Link's asleep and she wakes him up. It's gonna be one of the two. Uh, seems they're going to show the game why by. <laughs> I'm really hoping that they're not actually showing everything. They are kind of revealing like how to solve a lot of puzzles, which is kind of annoying. But we'll. G I'll knowing me, I'm gonna forget by the time I get to the game. I'm in bed currently, so I'm not feeling the best today. Oh no! I'm so sorry to hear, Kevo. Um, are you continuing your shiny hunts? Shiny hunting will make you feel better, right? <laughs> Imagine they're hiding the fact that the graphics are like Tears of the Kingdom. Just let them sleep. <laughs> Just let them sleep. Let them get swallowed up. Then confront challenging bosses who await her arrival. Oh, Ravens! Thank you so much for the 11 months! And for the 8 month streak. Thank you, thank you. How are you for... Wait. How, oh, how hype are you for the new Zelda game releasing a week from now? I'm, I'm going through the trailers right now to kind of, like, decide. I am excited to, have, like, be able to play a new Zelda game. Um, just, and, like, I'm ready to start, like, a new story playthrough. Because, like, right now I'm just doing a bunch of, like, 
Korok hunting or just, you know, the speed running. Like, I'm not actually, like, playing a story right now. So I am excited to actually get into something soon. So that's what I'm excited for. One more month. One more month, Ravens. One more month. That's so exciting. Thank you so much for your support, friend. Also, Streamlabs is down. So, like, no alerts are happening. It's very unfortunate. Although the bot, the bot's chatting. So the timers and stuff are working. I don't know if the commands work, though. They must. So that's separate. Okay, let's, they're talking about bosses. Let's, uh. What to do, though? Oh, I've seen this one, the too. With echoes, or combine See, like, them to find I don't want to send enemies to do the work for the me. The strategy is yours to devise. Bed. Perfect. Dude, come on. <laughs> That's what the we're doing, just can beds. Be accessed through rifts scattered across <laughs> Hyrule. And each entry point leads to a location with its own defining features. On her adventure, Zelda must overcome dungeons within the rifts and the mysteries they hold. Without Link or the King, Hyrule's fate rests squarely in Zelda's hands. Get it, girl. Napping mid-fight is a new level of showboating. <laughs> when Zelda finds and picks up a mysterious sword, she okay. takes on the sword go. fighter form, allowing her to attack directly. With its mighty power, she can forge ahead when her path is blocked. So she like she turns into like a shadow Strike form of Link. Strike down enemies on her own, or battle alongside Echoes. And I do know that this is a temporary form, like it doesn't However, last forever. However, she can only stay in yeah. sword fighter form for but a short period of time. It looks like you can level it up. When or where you choose to wield this power is up to you. The sword's gauge can be replenished by collecting energy found in the still world, so be sure to grab any you find. doing happy thursday um i need to find a usb and test out yes you do there are possibilities yeah oh my god that'd be so exciting that would be so exciting i'd be there um there's the sword you wanted yeah okay so douglas i did know about the sword but also like it's only temporary like i don't know how it's probably only gonna be like 30 seconds or something for it to last because they like they they really want it to be magic heavy. Like they want you to use your magic, your tri rod. So, yeah. We're not gonna be like Link the whole entire game and fighting. We're gonna be sending off monsters to do the fighting for us. <laughs> um, it leaked a while ago. Oh, but you're still gonna wait for the release, right? Mm. Okay. This is Dompe, an engineer who crafts clockwork gizmos in Hyrule. His extravagant creations are called automatons, and they can be activated by winding them up. They can unleash powerful effects that differentiate them from echoes. But be careful, they'll break apart if they take too much damage. Oh, it only refills in the still world? Oh, I missed that part. Where did, where did he say that? I did hear something about recharging. Okay, hold on. We're going to replay Sword's that. gauge can be replenished by collecting energy found in the still world. So be sure to grab any you find. I wonder if it goes in like a storage. If you can like bring some with you. This is Dompe, an engineer who crafts clockwork gizmos in Hyrule. His extravagant creations are called automatons, and they can be activated by winding them up. They can unleash powerful effects that differentiate them from echoes. But be careful, they'll break apart if they take too much damage. Classic. You'll meet many other quirky characters during your travels, <laughs> and there's no doubt they'll be of great help to the princess. There's gotta be Tingle. Tingle has to be in this game. 
I want to see a little version of Tingle. journey to traverse and save Hyrule, Princess Zelda's wisdom is key to undertaking this adventure. It's Volga! The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. Available September 26th only on the Nintendo Switch system. And then we have one more that was seven days ago. Uh, I can't wait to play this. I'm excited for a new playthrough of the game. I'm, I'm, like, I, I've been craving, like, a new story soon, so this is gonna be a good one. Like, it's, it's arrive, it's releasing just in time for me to start a new one. Yeah. That would make sword form, uh, way more rare. That's true, that's true, because if you don't go into the still world very often, then you don't refill it. Then you don't get to use your sword as often. But it looks like you're able to level up the gauge, so maybe at some point it'll last longer. Hmm. Um, so yeah, the, the reason why I'm watching all these trailers right now is because I never like actually like thoroughly watched them. I just saw like clips like through like socials every now and then to see what was going on uh, with the game or what to expect. And uh, basically, I'm trying to decide whether I am excited or not for Zelda's first ever game as the protagonist. Um, because I'm like, I'm excited for the puzzles. They do look fun. I mean, the trailers are kind of like taking it away a little bit because they're showing us how to complete the puzzles. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I don't like how magic heavy the game is. I don't like to summon stuff to do this to do the work for me unless it's plants vs zombies but this is not plants vs zombies this is the legend of zelda <laughs> um <gasps> robin how dare you someone ban robin <laughs> um Madman three stream streak. Let's freaking go. Thank you so much friend. Thank you. Thank you <laughs> I'm excited for your streams of this game This is gonna be the first Zelda game that I actually stream my first play. Oh, no, that's not true I did Minish Cap um, But yeah, like it's it's very rare that I I stream a first playthrough of a Zelda game like Tears of the Kingdom I kept that for myself um, but Minish Cap I like it was out for like so long that I felt it was fine to, to stream it. Um, but yeah, this is going to be like the first time that I actually stream a release. Because I don't, even for the Pokemon games that came out, I don't think I ever streamed the release. Like when they first came out. Um, do it, I've been waiting. <laughs> there is no Zelda slander in this chat, Robin. Zero. Alright, let's look at the last trailer. Probably gonna be more of the same. Okay. When Link is stolen away. Wait, is it Link? It's up to the Princess rift? Zelda to save her kingdom in a brand new entry in the Legend of Zelda series. The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. This sprawling, vibrant land is Hyrule. This looks exactly like the Nintendo Direct one so far. In the middle so of a great field sits Hyrule Castle, surrounded by Hyrule Castle Town. This land contains several different regions, including a desert, wetlands, a volcano, and sparkling waters, all of which are inhabited by their own distinct denizens. Mysterious rifts have appeared, tearing the land apart and swallowing up its inhabitants including the king of hyrule no Link. links lander no unacceptable left behind zelda meets an ethereal creature called tri who gives her a mysterious staff called the tri rock they then set off on a journey to save hyrule 
Did we see this in the other trailer? You I heard see, I already trial, forgot. <laughs> you can create imitations of things. Okay, yeah, we saw this. Echoes. Once you learn an okay, echo, so there's a bed right off the bat, so it whenever you'd bed like. only. Bed only you run. Can create echoes of we'll see how objects, long we can beds, last with that. Or create echoes of monsters that'll fight by your side. There's a wide range of echoes and a variety of ways you can put them to use. From finding imaginative paths forward to fighting your way across the land of Hyrule. So yeah, I'm seeing Another a lot of like the Tears of the Kingdom elements. Is called Bind. Because like everyone can find their own way to get through. Zelda's movement. Alternatively, you can use Reverse Bond on a moving object to follow its path. Whether you're moving an object or moving with one, you're bound to come up with all sorts of ideas if you let your imagination run wild. Oh, it was Ganon's staff. Zelda can also take on okay. sword fighter form, allowing her to forge ahead when the path is blocked, strike down enemies, or battle alongside Echoes. However, she can only stay in sword fighter form for a short period of time. How you choose to wield this power is up to you. The sword's gauge can be replenished by collecting energy found in the still world. Zelda can also make use of wind-up gizmos called automatons. Try combining everything at your disposal to discover strategies and ways forward you might not have considered before. Zelda's wisdom and your creativity are the keys to this adventure. So yeah, there's still a bit of like a sandbox element. You'll come across so you can, like, copy many whatever quirky you want. characters during your travels. Keep track of quests they give you by browsing your adventure log whenever you'd like. Helping people with their troubles is a big part of your journey. And wise heroes are often rewarded for their good deeds. Kevo, okay, well, I'm on the same boat. My imagination sucks too. To aid you on these quests, you can ride a horse. I like it when there's like a clear path and a clear goal to get to. And obtain accessories or outfits <laughs> to enhance And then Zelda's you abilities. have to like figure out how and to get to that goal obviously. exactly the way that it was designed to be done. Horse time! Stepping into the rifts to save those who have been stolen away, Zelda can explore the still world. She'll have to use echoes to traverse eerie floating terrain as she ventures into this world's deepest depths. Massive dungeons can also be found in the still world. Zelda will use her wisdom and echoes to take on enemies and puzzles that stand in her way. Then confront challenging bosses who await her arrival. You'll need to use everything at your disposal to take on these foes, but the strategy is yours to devise. I love that she's just like taking a nap the in the middle of that boss can be battle. Access through <laughs> rifts scattered across Hyrule, and each entry point leads to a location. Cricket, with its own hello, friend. Features. How are you doing? Welcome During on in. During her journey, Zelda must overcome dungeons within the rifts and the mysteries they hold. Without Link or the King of Hyrule, Hyrule's fate rests squarely in Zelda's hands. On this grand adventure, it's up to Zelda to use her wisdom I do like the character designs. The they do look really cute. As only like she the, can. The animation looks really good. The Legend of Zelda. Was that Dark Link? Echoes of Wisdom. It was a possessed Available Link. Available September 26th only on the Nintendo Switch system. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Nintendo Switch online members can save on this game with Nintendo Switch game vouchers. Okay. All right. Well, that was all of them. What What is your opinions? Doing very well. I love the Zelda hype in here. Yes, we're hyping ourselves up for Zelda. Um, but I was also kind of like watching the trailers kind of like for the first time, but like more thoroughly um, because I'm trying to like decide if I am excited for the game. And like I am and not at the same time. I kind of wish that they went in a different direction for Zelda's first game. But this is what we're getting.
and I'm gonna buy it, I'm gonna play it, I'm gonna stream it, and I am going to give another opinion after I've played it. But right now I'm like, yeah, it's a, it's a new game, that's exciting. But like, it's not a very exciting new Zelda game. I'm mostly just, I'm like complaining about the combat. I don't like the combat that's uh, like in this game. Because like, I feel like it's just gonna be a lot of standing around waiting for our Echoes to do the fighting for us. And I like to do the fighting. <laughs> Um, that would be me in IRL, sleep during boss fights. Literally, yeah, just send something out to, like, distract it and take a nap. <laughs> like, if you have time for a nap, like, you're not really playing the game. <laughs> um, I need to get a voucher for this game in Mario Party. Oh my god, Mario Party! We're gonna have a huge party once Mario Party comes out. I'm so excited for that. That one I can honestly say I am, like, dead ass super excited for. Although I haven't pre-ordered it yet. <laughs> um, I love the Hitman series. They give you a target and plop you in the middle of a level. And you figure out dozens of ways to kill the target. Okay. Okay. So yeah, you like that kind of style. Okay. I'm indifferent about how it looks. Uh, but I want to play it anyway. You do want to play it? Okay. Because I think at some point you said that you didn't want to play it, right, Hugh? You were just going to, like, watch other people play it, I think you said. Did you change your mind then? Yeah. I see Tears of the Kingdom on my side. <laughs> I think it's cute. I love Link's Awakening and similar art style is awesome. Uh, I was excited about this announcement and I'm still much excited. Probably won't play it right at release though. Okay. Okay. Are you, you're going to shield yourself from the spoilers though, right? I do feel like the trailers did show a lot of spoilers. Like it, it did reveal how to like do a bunch of stuff, but like, yeah. Like I said already, knowing me, like by the time the game the game comes out and I play it, I'm gonna forget that I saw the trailer. <laughs> um, I love Zelda and I'll play it because Zelda. Exactly, yeah, because Zelda. That's like the main reason. Exactly. Mm. The combat seems slow even in a boss fight. Yeah, see that exactly. That's my that's my complaint. It's it's the battling, the combat. I have a problem. Too many games. Wait, you have- what do you mean too many games? Is your backlog that bad? And you're gonna put it all aside? Wait, have you finished Tears of the Kingdom yet? Are you still working on that? I hope you're done it. <laughs> um, yeah, another collab. Yeah, that'd be so fun. Yes. And there's gonna be a setting in Jamboree where we can have, I think, up to 20 people it's not going to be, like, on a map, but, like, there's going to be, like, availability for, like, up to 20 people to all, like, play mini games and stuff together. Like, a battle royale kind of thing. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. I'm in no rush to play. We'll probably look at a Christmas playthrough. That's fair. That is totally fair. Um, are you also going to be avoiding spoilers? We'll probably forget. <laughs> Louie, hello. Welcome in. How are you doing? Happy Thursday. You're still working on it? Ah, how much more do you have to, uh, have to go through? Do you know? Uh, if you don't have HBO subscription for tomorrow, I can stream it. Oh, do you mean Beetlejuice? Wait, is that what you're talking about? I actually, I should have looked into a way to, uh, to stream Beetlejuice. I haven't looked into that yet. I'm hoping it's on one of the streaming platforms. If not, I have a friend I can borrow the DVD from. I think that will work. Um, okay. Okay, so, you know what? It might be easier to, like, have you stream it on in Discord then. Um, instead of me, like, going to get a disc. Because sometimes, sometimes you can't share screen when it's a DVD. It's weird. Anyway. Also, Majestic, I see you, friend. Lurking away. Hope you're doing well, friend. That would be wild. I can't wait. I can't wait either. I'm so excited for that. I <laughs> uh, just got all the temples and about six to seven of the memories. So a bit. Oh, I love the memories. Oh my god, those scenes are so good. Uh, not sure. Then lots of exploring and bonus armors and things. Okay. Okay. But like, you're pretty close to the end of like the story. So that's good. That's good. There's one week. You have one week. <laughs> 
Ah. Uh, you have the disc also, just in case. Hit me up. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> it's on HBO. I Yeah, I don't have HBO. Not the streaming availability, anyway. All right, we're going to come on over here because we are going to continue our Korok hunts. Everyone's favorite. 